Hi there, Jim Townsend. My website's at townsend.b. Much of the information that I um, uh, have been trying to uh, pass, pass out to people is on my website. Um, I'm uh, up kind of uh, late this evening. I, my shoulders are just killing me. I feel like I've been nailed to a cross again. I'm uh, sitting here trying to think of how I can um, present information uh, to people to kind of give them a picture of what is going on in the world. Um, humans can be very hard to educate. Um, I, I did want to talk about uh, a number of things and eventually where I'll go with my information is um, I want to um, pass on to um, people uh, information about who they truly are, um, uh, the true nature of God and the true nature of man and how we're all linked to each other. But it's a, um, a hard thing to kind of um, uh, put together. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to do, and everybody seems to be really interested in the Mayan calendar and uh, 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 what's going to happen in the, in the year 2012, um, many people on the face of the earth, well I shouldn't say many people, a few elites um, uh, already understand the, um, uh, the nature of man and the, the nature of the world. And that's one of the reasons that they keep destroying um, uh, true history as uh, people write it down and replacing it with this uh, Bible degree that we have. We are ready for um, uh, coming cataclysmic events, um, uh, an arc. Uh, already exists. It's called the space station. It's full of genetic material, ready to repopulate the earth. There are many places um, uh, that have seed banks and all that other sort of stuff put away. That people are being prepared. Um, and a lot of this knowledge has been around for a very long time. Um, if you know what a pyramid truly is, for instance, um, then you kind of understand what's going on in, in, in the world. But you can't have everybody know what's going on. A pyramid is actually a survival sarcophagus. Um, how would you um, survive a, uh, a mile high wave of water moving at 600 kilometers or, or, or the speed of sound 700 kilometers uh, um, an hour? Um, well, one of the ways is in a pyramid. You see, because a pyramid, you could wash that over and uh, it would remain standing. And if you look closely at the pyramids, you'll find that they're actually pumps. And the king's chamber is above any place that can possibly be flooded, you see. They found, uh, I guess, a few um, uh, pyramids that uh, had everybody into it in, in it and then came to the conclusion, oh, they buried all the king's family with them and all that other sort of stuff. No, well, most people just didn't survive their cataclysmic event and didn't crawl back out of their stone sarcophagus in uh, which they'd hidden in order to ride it out. I've got my Datamorph um, uh, program up here again and uh, trying to show you one computer with another computer system. Um, I've integrated all of the um, uh, calendar systems here. We have so many disparate uh, uh, calendar systems, and we know that um, uh, they don't make sense. For instance, uh, take the months uh, September, October, November, December. Now that's the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th month. Well, why is that? Sept, 7, oct, 8, <laughs> non, 9, dec, 10. So why aren't they the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th month? You know, people have been playing with the calendars for an awful long time in order to um, uh, hide that information. And unfortunately, my computer just went to sleep. I was just trying to show you that, so I'll have to kind of go on here. I'm kind of constrained to these little 10-minute uh, vignettes, and that kind of threw me off with what I'd prepared in my mind to say to you. December 21st, uh, 2012, for a how three can kin. There are basically three different um, uh, Mayan calendars. There's the lo Mayan long count, and then there's the Sulkan and Mahab, a civil and a religious calendar. And they have great calendar rounds that come together and in indicate where the Earth and uh, um, the solar system is within our galaxy at any given time. Now, the uh, Earth, uh, uh, being tilted with respect to the solar ecliptic is in effect what gives us our seasons on Earth. And 
similarly to that, our sun is tilted slightly with respect to the galactic ecliptic. And so we have um, galactic seasons uh, related to our solar system and then you know, seasons on Earth related to our sun. And everything kind of goes back down. Get yourself a couple of magnets and play with the, moving the magnets into proximity with each other and see how they react with the magnetic fields to um, intuit uh, kind of what it is that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to convey to you here. You can look at the Earth as a huge um, AC motor. Um, uh, from an electromagnetic uh, viewpoint. Um, what happens when you um, switch the field of an AC motor is that it spins in the other direction. Okay, so we have um, a great alignment that is coming up on December 21st, 2012. That's actually the uh, significance of it. Now, the significance of this alignment is how all of these electromagnetic fields are going to interact with each other. You see, it takes about 26,000 years to make the transit around the, uh, around the galaxy. And uh, with a periodicity of about 6,500 years, all life um, on Earth is um, pretty well exterminated because of the cataclysmic events. So there's been preparation for this, uh, for this event that has been going on for quite some time now because the elite do want to uh, survive and of course they're going to come back down as gods <laughs> which is a bunch of nonsense and rule the earth as uh, um, God's chosen people or whatever and so they've um, bankrupted uh, uh, the human race they keep you from knowing uh, the, the true nature so that you cannot uh, ascend spiritually um, you can look at your body as a cosmic egg because there is something beyond this um, so to get back to what is uh, going to happen on uh, uh, for Al, uh, how three can kin, I'm trying to place it into simplistic terms here. Um, as we come into alignment, what's going to happen is the poles in our Earth are going to flop, and um, that's going to um, uh, cause a number of different things. Now, one school of thought is that it's going to cause the Earth to uh, spin in the opposite direction. And there's evidence to kind of suggest that the Earth has turned in the other direction. And then it's also rolled over onto its side as, from one perspective, the sun stood still. And if you understand the mechanics of what was going on there, it's kind of a story of uh, uh, what happened a long, long time ago. Um, if you think of the Earth spinning as a top, and then you knock the top off, um, or cause it to wobble, th certain things can happen. You see, the Earth has been spinning for so long as it is, and the, the caps have been away from the sun, so we, we built up solar ice caps. And you knock it off slightly. What happens if you were to take a top and put a chunk of ice on the top of it, and you spin it, and you slow down that spin, and all of a sudden, bang, it flips off, right? So I think that uh, one of the reasons that we have all of this um, uh, weather manipulations is they're really trying to uh, melt the ice caps at this point in time to see if they can keep the earth from flipping over onto its side as, uh, as, uh, as this event occurs. But uh, it's fairly easy to uh, uh, relate back um, to what it is that I'm, uh, I'm saying here. Now the uh, Mayan calendar is a um, uh, the most accurate calendar um, uh, that we've had uh, so far. Um, and all of our calendars, everything um, that we're taught is meant to confuse us so that we never ever really understand the true nature of the universe that we live in. We ne never understand the true nature of how we're all connected. And um, that's uh, kind of uh, uh, one of the things that I want to uh, try and get uh, by to people. I realize that I'm kind of stuck and I'm not doing really well at this point in time, but I wanted to make this little vignette just to show that, just to kind of tell you that uh, be patient with me because there's an awful lot that I'm trying to deliver in my little um, uh, vignettes here. This I call my Spear of Destiny. Now you will notice that it has this um, um, ascension of uh, number and that is uh, related to my uh, my dome also behind me you see there um, the sphere of destiny with uh, some interesting symbolism and I'll get into explaining that to you at one point in time 
Um, at any rate, I've run out of 10 minutes, so I'll finish this one off and then uh, maybe